Belgium is a world-leading country in recycling. Only 3% of our waste finally ends up in the garbage belt. Not only do we manage to recycle our paper, our glassware, our plastic bottles, no, we even donate our furniture to give it a second new life. And this trend has become so popular that even big concerns like, for example, IKEA give you now the opportunity to donate your old furniture while you're buying new ones. And my question is, why aren't we doing this with the thing that I'm really passionate about? With one of the key elements of life. I'm talking about water. Let me explain to you your daily water footprint. How many water did you ex expect to use in one day? A hundred liters of water? No, it is 7,400 liters of water per day. That is your water footprint. Imagine you showering half a day long, non-stop. It is all the water that you use, starting from taking that coffee in the morning, all the food that you consume during dinner and lunch, all the products and good that you consume during a day. That is your water footprint. It's a lot, no? And you may know it or not, but this region where we're positioned in right now, Flanders, it will be prone to water scarcity in the 21st century. So we have to be very careful with the water that we have. We have to start rethinking our water cycle. So how can we do this? Let's start again with you and I. When we take a shower, or doing the dishes, or a company produces our goods, this wastewater goes to a wastewater treatment plant and is then just treated. All the waste is removed and the water just goes to a river and the sea. But let's look again to this word, wastewater. It consists of waste and water. And it's both things that we can start to recycle, just as the waste that we're recycling on a daily basis. So what about just recycling our water? and reusing it directly in our factories to drive our processes, or refilling our groundwater reserves so we can ensure that we have water for future generations. But there is much more in this wastewater. There is also waste, and this waste contains of precious chemicals that we can reuse. It can be reused in the form of energy. And that is all what our research is about. At the center of microbial ecology and technology, we manage bacteria. Bacteria are our friends. We love them. We study them and find their strengths and their weaknesses. We find the best team players where they can work together in, so we can get the maximum out of this waste in the wastewater. So, how do we do this? Let's see again to the waste. It exists of nitrogen and organic carbon. So instead of removing everything, we can define a two-stage wastewater treatment plant, where in the first stage, we get the organic carbon, which is rich in energy, and we train bacteria to absorb this energy very fast. So we get very fat and thick bacteria that are growing and absorbing all this energy. And on the other hand, we have the nitrogen, which still has to be removed. So we remove it by means of this beautiful red, lovely Animox bacteria, which are capable of removing nitrogen without using any of this organic carbon. So in this way, we can redirect all this organic carbon, all this energy-rich waste to a digester, produce methane, fulfill all the energy needs of our wastewater treatment plant, and even produce excess of energy, where we can drive buses around with or heat our houses. 
All this comes together in a project where we work together with, in Ghent. By 2030, a new quarter will be built at the north side near Damport. And it will contain 1,500 houses. And it will have its own decentral wastewater treatment facility. Not only will they manage to have a lower water footprint by using vacuum toilets, they will also get all this energy to heat their houses. And the really nice thing about this is that the water, which has been purified at the end of the process, it will be used by a nearby company for process water. So I really hope that the next time when you take a shower or you're doing the dishes and you see this precious wastewater flowing down the drain, you don't see it as something that is waste, that is discarded. No, you see it as something that is worthwhile to recycle and it will be part of our cities of the future. Thank you.